The Area tool is generally used to get the square footage of a given area. For example, on a plan view page, it can be used to get measurements for things like floors, ceilings, or asphalt. And on an elevation plan, it can be used to measure stucco or siding. Before attempting to create any takeoff, be sure to set the scale on the drawing. For more information on setting the scale, see the Setting Scale video. To create an area takeoff, select the Area Tool icon from the Home tab. There are other area options available from the drop-down list, such as the Roof Area, Grid Tool, and Joist Tool. These options are discussed in other videos. The Properties box opens where you can enter a name of your new area takeoff, a color, and a fill type. When creating area takeoffs, consider what you may need as a result. In my example, I have an acoustical ceiling to take off. If I only need the total square footage for the acoustical ceiling, I could create a single area takeoff and take off all the gridded areas using it. However, if you want or need an area by area breakdown of your results, you should create multiple different area takeoffs. For example, on the plan here, I'd like an acoustical ceiling tile breakdown by room, so I'll create multiple area takeoffs named Office 15 ACT, Conference Room ACT, Kitchenette slash Copy ACT, etc. Once you've set up the desired name and color for your area item, you can also add advanced details to your item by clicking the Advanced button. For more information on how to add additional details to your takeoff, see the Advanced Properties video. Click the OK button to start drawing takeoff. Find a point on the plan where you wish to start drawing takeoff and left click the mouse. Move around the plan left clicking at each point where you need to change directions. It doesn't matter if you move clockwise or counterclockwise, just so long as you always move in the same direction while drawing. Switching directions while drawing and crossing back over your takeoff can result in incorrect measurements. If you're zoomed in tight and you get to the edge of the page and you need to scroll over, hover over the light blue area at the edge of the screen to scroll automatically. If you make a mistake while drawing, you can press the backspace key or Ctrl and Z on the keyboard to go back to the previous point. Once you've worked your way around the area, you can double click at the second to last point to stop drawing. You don't need to go back to the beginning. If there are other areas you need to draw using this same item, continue drawing the same way. If you're finished drawing, right click and select Stop or simply press the Escape key on the keyboard. Before you build, construct connect.